First of all, what were you guys able to accomplish today in practice? Well, we went over our, our game plan, the film session, with a walkthrough, with an offensive script, uh, some shots. Uh, I like I like the the focus that we we had. Some of our guys, this is their first time. You know, the play-in tournament was outstanding because it it took our level of attention to detail to another step and this was now it's the next step um, this is some of our guys first time in the playoffs but I like their their focus and but we got we got a lot of things accomplished today um, it was it was a good day we're ready to go we're ready to get jump on a plane and uh, get down to Philadelphia and He'll play the way we've been playing. Um, a lot of energy and focus and for one another. And uh, their defense ranks really highly, pretty much all the way across the board. What, what makes them so elite on that end of the floor? Well, they got uh, good defenders. They got a, a good size all the way across the floor. Uh, they got MB as, uh, as big as, you know, as big as, Anybody that's protecting the paint and their their guard, their point guard is you know six ten, so they they got length. But like I said, their 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 team is is loaded with uh, athletic uh, guys with good length. So we we know that uh, we, we we can we can fight uh, against what they do well, and I'm confident that. You know, we can get stops and get out and run and transition. And we, we, there's not, not a secret. We want to play with pace. And so they're a good defensive team, no question. Ava? Scott, how did um, how will fit in personality wise with all of the different characters you guys have this year? Uh, he, he seems like another quiet one, but what, do you, what have you come to learn about him? Um, that the quiet ones are the ones that you worry about because they're, they got that sneaky competitive drive in them that, you know, that if you can, you can, you can get, you can get to them and th those, you don't, not so sure about it. And I think our guys realize that about how early on, he didn't say nothing. He took every practice as a, as a, as a serious commitment, uh, to making him, um, you know, part of the rotation early on. I mean, I didn't, we signed them, you know, as a, as a uh, third point guard. And that says a lot about him. And it's kind of like the mirror to mimic our season in general. Uh, he was definitely an out of nowhere guy came into our camp. I knew of him, obviously. He's had some good moments throughout his early career in a few different spots, but he, he has that real serious approach and that workmanlike mentality. He just brings his lunch pail every every day, and he he puts in the time. And that's what that's why the guys fell in love with him because he just puts in the time. He doesn't say anything. He listens. He's coachable. He understands that he wants to get better and improve. So he doesn't have doesn't have all the answers. But that's why, like I said, that's why the players and the coaching staff love what he brings to the team. You you kind of joke with us all the time about how many different teams you played for and everything like that. When you're going back to a team that traded you, didn't have space for you, whatever, how much extra kind of sauce does it give you when you go into a game, especially if it's a, a playoff game like this? Yeah, there's no question. There's a little added. I mean, for the most part, the the the, the competitors or don't matter who's in front of them. They realize that there's 29 teams that that they don't like. That's what I love about uh, Russell's mentality. He doesn't like 29 teams. He doesn't, and he's played on a couple of teams now and the same thing with this, all his former teammates. Uh, but there's also, there's an ad, there's a, there's just a little bit, it's just different because you know, you've been in their locker room, you know what they think. I know that's a different coaching staff, um, but he knows a lot of those guys, but I don't think it's going to change him. He's going to be, he, he's a competitor and he competes and he's serious. And 
he just has that, you know, that just from that cloth of just I'm coming out and doing my job, uh, which you kind of appreciate. He doesn't, he never asks for anything. He wants to earn everything he, he's gotten so far. And this season is no different from that mentality he's had in the past. Zach. Hey, Coach, uh, what are your thoughts on Rui's primary matchup opponent, Tobias Harris? Oh, he's, he has a tough one. Guys, hey, I don't know how he's not an all-star by now. He, he puts up all-star numbers every year. I know it's hard to get. There's only 12, 12 of them, but he's right there. Um, he's definitely a, a tough matchup for everybody, but we – you know, we do a lot of switching, so everybody's going to have to be able to be locked into what their guy does well. And he scores the ball well from a different, from a few different spots on the floor that we're well aware of. And we, we're going to try to make it uncomfortable as we possibly can with him. But he's a, he's one of those professional scorers. There's a handful of them in the league that has that size to be able to score down low with smaller matchups, score on the perimeter with bigger matchups. And you can put it on the floor. He's a pretty good driving to the right, pretty good step back going to his left. Doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but he's he's very capable of having big three-point nights. And But Rui's, Rui understands. I think the thing that, you know, last year, it was like like a development year for a lot of us. And but Rui came back better at understanding the league and understanding the tendencies of the players that he's going to be playing in front of. Uh, every night. So I think it's a, this is another step in his growth to be able to understand what those guys do. Now you now you see them potentially seven seven games in, you know, two weeks. I believe this is your first time in the playoffs, right? It is. It is. Yeah. So you've been in the league uh, since 2013 and, you know, you've made it here. What what has it been like, you know, playing in the playing tournament and then getting ready for a first round series? Um, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. It's my eighth year in the league, first time in the playoffs. And uh, I mean, it's been a crazy experience. Like, playing felt like, it kind of felt like playoffs. You know, every every, every possession counts. And, um, you know, you, you could feel the intensity was way higher than the regular season. And, um, but, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's just the, probably the most exciting part of my career. You say it's the most exciting part of your career. Uh, what's it like, uh, I guess, Having this opportunity, uh, given where you were when the Wizards acquired you just a few months ago. Yeah, I mean, it was, when, you know, when I came here, it was like, what, you know, probably at the bottom of the second, second worst team in the East. And then, you know, climbing all the way back and making the AC, I mean, probably, you know, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, just, you know, we, we battled through, guys stuck together. Um, it, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. Ava? Yeah, Alex, you guys obviously have a have a huge challenge coming up with uh, with Joel, but what's what can you do to kind of slow him down, especially with his size? Scott always says he likes um, how you match up physically and can kind of match that physicality with a lot of other centers. I mean, we got we got a game plan. We got, we got a few things that we're going to throw at him. But I mean, with great players, you just got to you got to make it tough for him. Um, you know, he, he going to score. He going he gonna put up numbers. You just gotta make you know it's, it's make, it make him uh, take more attempts, and uh, you know just make limit the easy ones. And working with Robin and and Daniel like you do, obviously in the rotation, how much I guess communication between you guys is going on in game? Like, is there any talk of like this is working really well, or or maybe you know this is bothering me what he's doing, or are you guys just like trust what you see when you're watching the game? We're gonna be not not like not on a consistent basis, but like if we see someone, we obviously say you know like uh, they 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 play and drop on a pick and roll. You can do you know like just kind of little adjustments and uh, offensively when sometimes like you'll hold the hold the screen on the, on Brett. You know they're, they're playing him, they're playing him, you know all the way up on him. Just little things like that. But other than that, we just know our role and just you know trying to play play within our role. It's pretty easy. How are you feeling with the the hamstring injury? I feel good. Um, I mean, once I'm out out there playing, uh, I don't think about it. So um, I'm glad I, I got better uh, in time for the play E and playoffs. And you're facing the Sixers, who uh, you know a little something about. Um, 
what can you take from the experience of playing with those guys and on that team and in, into this series? I think just knowing personnel, um, every little detail, you know, I played with most of them last year. Uh, of course, they're a different team this year. They have a new coach. They play a different way, but I think the personnel uh, stays the same. And I, uh, I know every one of them, um, how they play, how they're mentally, how they uh, approach the game. So I think uh, I'm going to try to use that um, during that during that series and trying to uh, help my teammates if they don't, uh, if, if they need to know something else. But I mean, we all study, we know, we all watch film and we all know what they do. So um, I think it's going to be fun to play against them. Eva? How old, do you know how many um, different injuries you've played through this year? I feel like you've you've been on the injury report so many times as like questionable with like you got the rib, you got the hamstring. Have you kept like a tally in your head? Uh, not really. Um, I think now that you're saying I look back and there was a lot, but I just take day by day. I think us as a, as athletes, we all were, we always going through a uh, little pain here over there, and you gotta just fight through it. No if your body's going to be able to handle, know if, if you're good to play or not. And, um, but I, I honestly just take day by day trying to deal with those small injuries. I think uh, mostly it's because the way I play, you know, I'm always throwing my body out there and just playing as hard as I can. And, and those things are going to happen. So I don't keep track of it. I just try to uh, uh, go day by day. And um, you've been really consistent this year, considering all of the ups and downs and everything like that. One of the more consistent guys. What's been kind of your key to, to staying even keeled this weird season? Um, I think it's a, it's a mental game. You know, you got to be ready to play every, every day. Um, you got to bounce back from bad games. You can never be um, too high or too low uh, with the great games or with the bad games. You have to stay uh, you know, consistent mentally and just let your work talk to yourself. I think uh, uh, every time I go out there, I just leave it everything, uh, play my heart, play it hard, as hard as I can and uh, try to help the team. And um, and like I say, I, I, I had bad games. I had great games. I had regular games, but I think it's just uh, um, just every time we step on the court, just like the same way I, I, I say about my injuries, just taking day by day and trying to uh, do your best every time you step on the court. Chase. Uh, specific to your scoring, um, you know, you've had a career year, uh, not only in terms of the points scored, but also the percentages you shot. What, what do you think led to, to that happening? Um, work, confidence, I think um, being able to to go out there and take those shots, uh, things that in the past I wouldn't, like some shots I wouldn't take in the past. And I have the confidence and I have the trust from my teammates and coaching staff uh, to do it. And um, and just putting on the work, you know, uh, uh, being confident, being, uh, being true to myself and uh, taking the shots I got to take. And I think it's just the working, the work that I put on paying up. And when you played your first uh, postseason games in your career, did you notice a, a big difference after you played, you know, maybe one or two of them in terms of your comfort level? Because um, Coach Brooks was talking about how, you know, the younger players, the play-in tournament, um, it, it's probably a big difference in how they feel out there. Yeah, I think the intensity changes, uh, you know, the post uh, season, the playoffs is where everybody want to be, you know, that's where you give you a chance on winning a championship and, um, and there's, you play so many games against the same team. So you kind of have to adjust every, every game. Uh, if you have one good game, they're going to try to take away whatever you did good. So, um, it's, uh, it's a lot of, um, I think a, it's a more mental game, you know, knowing that, uh, you're going to play the same team at least four times and, uh, they are doing the same thing this, that, that we're doing here. We watch film, uh, we study, uh, you, we put all the time uh, into, into knowing what we got to do on the court and, uh, and the intensity is, it's, 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 it's more, uh, you know, you, it's the playoffs. I think you see it as 
when you're watching, you feel when you're playing, and uh, and I think that's that's just how we uh, we gotta take that that playoff series. You know, go out there, play hard, and uh, keep it simple like we're doing until now.